Pentagon sources confirmed to Fox News that Chinese hackers have gained access to the designs of more than two dozen of the nation's most advanced military weapons. As the Washington Post first reported, those weapons include our Patriot Missile Defense System, the FA-18 fighter jet, the V-22 Osprey, and the Black Hawk helicopter. The Post article cites a confidential section of a study that a group of government and civilian experts prepared for the Pentagon back in January. The White House today said cybersecurity will be a major topic of discussion when President Obama meets with China's president next week in California. Jamie Barnett is a partner and co-chair of cybersecurity at a major U.S. law firm. He is also a former rear admiral in the Navy. And admiral, it's no, no secret the Chinese have been hacking us for a long time. But this seems to be a much wider campaign of espionage and, and likely more dangerous. Trace, it's absolutely uh, unprecedented. And the list that you mentioned there is appalling. Uh, it endangers U.S. missions and it endangers U.S. troops. Is it the fact the Pentagon can't counter this, Admiral? Is that the problem? I mean, could, I mean, which seems a little scary. You talk about Chinese getting some of our vital information. You know North Korea is always right on the edge of going off the, off the cliff. And, and now you have reports that there's a possibility the Pentagon can't counter this. We well, you know, interestingly, uh, our military uh, systems are pretty well protected. They haven't always been. Well, we've learned and we protected them. But what the Chinese did in response is start attacking uh, the periphery, the contractors and even the subcontractors that we depend on uh, for these various systems. And they've been fairly successful about it. Now, all of these, these folks are, are very careful. They've got CIOs and chief information security officers and firewalls and, and antivirus. But the fact of the matter is that they're still getting through. So we've got to do a better job because we've exposed, uh, in essence, our defense systems to them. And not only that, but we've given them a tremendous advantage yeah. against us by, by providing them billions, maybe even trillions dollars worth of research that they don't have to do because they can rely on ours. Yeah, intellectual research, and that's the whole thing, Adam. As you talk about President Obama meeting with uh, President Jinping next week, uh, or in two weeks, and you think, well, how do you broach this subject? Hey, quit stealing our stuff. I mean, what, what's, what's the question you ask? Well, Trace, there's two things. First, you've seen over the last few months a, an increasing number of public disclosures that target the, the Chinese as being the ones that have been behind this. In the past, the Chinese have simply said, oh, you can't attribute to us. But with the Mandiant report back in, in, uh, two, in, in February, with the uh, Pentagon's report, and now with this Defense Science Board report, you see it ratcheting it up so that there at least is a basis for saying you can't get out of this. And the public perception the Chinese right. are actually doing it. But we have to do more than just the diplomatic thing, too. We have to be able to provide more things for our, our defense industry to be able to protect themselves. Yep. Put a lock on the Pentagon. Uh, cybersecurity expert Jamie Barnett. Admiral, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Th thank you so much.